Uh, Jay Walkers, we are back with another Doctor Who reaction. It's going to be to Season 2, Episode 10. Uh, very excited for this episode, and I think I stand by my statement that Episode 9 here of Season 2, the one we last watched, is probably my favorite episode so far of the series, just the intensity of it. I think there was so much that happened, and I was on the edge of my seat literally the whole episode. It started off crazy, finished crazy, and I love that the Doctor, you know, he had a big decision to make and it looked kind of hopeless but he based his decision or did his decision based on his belief in Rose and Rose did the right thing uh, they were able to save each other and got out of that mess I loved the small group of characters that that two-parter had and yeah everything about the last episode for me was just perfect and is Doctor Who at its best so now with episode 10 and the few episodes we do have left, hopefully they can continue at that pace. Uh, we shall see. We have only have a few more, and I think after season 2 is when we're supposed to start Torchwood, which I'm also very excited about. We will be doing reactions to those as well. And hopefully we can, we can get these up at a quicker pace for everyone to see, because, you know, I love doing these. And people still seem to enjoy, which I'm very excited about. So yeah, we're going to jump into it. The full reaction to this episode, not other ones I've watched for Doctor Who, will be up on my Patreon page. Link to that will be in the description box of every single video that I post here on YouTube if you want to check those out. But if we are on YouTube, please be sure to like, comment, and sub if you enjoy. That being said, we're going to jump into it. Let's go. Starting off with the man running and stumbling and looking confused as shit. Ooh. Don't go in there, sir. Not everything is as it seems. What is going on? Why is everyone screaming? Why does it sound like Rose? That's what it did. It went. And if you think that was pretty not accurate to what it my life, wait till you hear the rest. So we got this character telling the story of some crazy shit that has to do with the doctor and Rose. I'm assuming. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, here, here we go. Honestly, I'd be so shocked if I saw the Doctor and Rose tag team a monster. Oh, and I went to think. But I would think, what I would think, is those two are fucking badass. You gotta do the classic door to door, multiple door chase down. What? 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 Wait a minute. First time I met the doctor, and he certainly wasn't the last. It's gonna get scary. I need a remote control zoom. The scariest thing I've seen was you get as close to the camera as you did. But that is where it all started. Because that's when I first met the doctor. I went downstairs, and there was this man. Tell me, why was he there? I still don't know. Well, I got a good guess. Crazy stuff is going down. My name is Elton. Uh, not to be confused with... <laughs> Elton John. School. The greatest Elton of all time. I was in town. I was stuck in up stuff. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Oh, dummies. Come to life. Remember that like it was yesterday. It wasn't over yet, because then... Christmas Day. Stuck in bed, right? Because there's glass everywhere. And I remember all of this like it was yesterday. That's how I met Ursula. His name is the Doctor. That's how I met Victor Kennedy. You stupid man! That's how I met Jackie Tyler. Oh, you don't meet many Eltons. And that's how I finally met the Doctor. Because I'm into all sorts of things. Uh, I like football. I like a drink. I, I like, like all Spain. those things. All those things. Jefflin. And the electric light orchestra. It would be hard to be interested in other things, you know, with, with all of this about the doctor and stuff. But I'm glad he's having a good time. It was him. It was that man again, but the photo was new. It was taken on Christmas Day. His name is the doctor. Doctor what? That's that the moaning the Myrtle? That's the moaning Myrtle. I didn't realize he was significant until Mr. Skinner pointed it out. Oh, there's a few of us. <laughs> We're gonna get all these weirdos together. That was Bridget. All these different doctors come and go. Way up north, but she traveled down without fail, just for the meetings. Then there was. I love the dedication. I really do. What 
he could represent and what he should represent. What he never won't represent. <laughs> I don't, I lost, you lost me there. What we need is a good strong name. London Investigation and Detective Agency. That's not catchy Linda. at all. I give you Linda. Linda! Linda. Alright. So we'll all meet up every week. This little group is pretty Mr. adorable. I gave my love to Chevy. It had no stone. I love this new Demi Lovato song. It turned out that Bridget could play the piano, and I confess my love of ELO. What are we doing? Like, what? I, I get starting this group because of the doctor, but now we're starting a band? The Beatles got nothing on you guys. Yeah, the monsters won't have it. They're like, God, that's not good. Shut the lights off now. That's when he arrived. This man looks like he means business. He looks serious. Salvation. The doctor. What really are you talking about? The sound of the universe. I love that sound. So yes. silly. I was just a kid. That's why I went downstairs. It woke me up. That noise. Needed tasks to each of you. I'd like you to go. Yeah, like we just wanted to have fun. Play some music. Bang on some drums. Private, All of a sudden, without anyone saying so, we were working for Victor Kennedy. Like we were getting closer and closer to the doctor. No sign of bliss. He's getting married. He's left a message. It'll never last. We don't understand the move. We'll go, go. Don't, don't get excited. That's where you came in. And you froze, you stupid man. You can't hit me because you don't touch. You said so. You get out of the and Hang on him and you'll get one hell of a smack off me. And then a good kick. Okay, it's screaming like Myrtle. I'd find her. Now, when it comes to Doctor's companion, the yeah, doctor's only alone. Someone's got to know who she is somewhere. Yes, but London's a big place. Find me that girl. Go! Now, move! He is too much. To search a major capital city for an unknown girl. To hunt down that face in a sickly metropolis. Tyler, she lives just down there, Buckham House, number 48. Nice family. Oh, that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. Find some excuse to start a conversation. Do you know Rose Tyler? Just jump right into it. <laughs> no, nothing. Cheers. She's already Cheers. using that flirty talk. Thanks, Jackie. By the way. Flirting her ass off. <laughs> Find some subtle way to integrate yourself into the target's household. Mind you, I'm only down here because my washing machine is. I suppose you're only good at fixing things, are you? He's doing it all for you. Yeah. I used to have this little mate called Mickey. He did all that stuff. I miss Mickey with now. my whole heart. Rose, so where's she traveling? Is <laughs> all over. <laughs> She's got a mobile. Literally. Well, if I had you making a nice cup of tea like this, I wouldn't stray far from home. You're a charmer. <laughs> Magnificent! Oh, I could kiss you! Too much going on there. Except keep infiltrating. You will do anything to get that information, boy! Anything! Yes, sir! No, sir. Screw off! Oh. Could I have a word with you? Private, please. Well, I'll see you next week. Oh. Yeah, I don't think you'll be... I don't know if you'll be seeing her again. It was strange. The amount of things that needed doing. <laughs> it's weird, these views... You enjoying the view? Fixed. Oh my goodness. Oh my We've got the place to ourselves. Right. Oh, is that right? What's in here? Is it hot? Oh, I think so. You should take your jacket off. Come on, it's only a little drop. Oh, ruined. Don't even try to hide it, just get right into it. Alright, be careful. Bye. No moon? Out of the moon now? Everything alright? That was my daughter. The way she is, anything could be happening to her, anything. I do feel bad for Jackie a lot of the time. Without her daughter. Worried about her daughter. It's a lot. I'm gonna go out and get us both a pizza. Because I reckon you need cheering up. Oh, she wow. Off and what an amazing, you know about you, right? what an amazing thing so to I do. Because I, I did like Jackie. But I 
run like someone else, even more. For once in my life, I thought I'll pay. I thought he's such a nice man, he won't accept anything, so I'll just slip a tenner in his pocket. Photograph of my daughter. No, 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 no it's not like that. Okay, he does have great, better baby. intentions now. I'll tell you something about those who get left behind. Because it's hard. And that's what you become. Hard. I will never let her down. Protect them both until the end of my life. You go so off. I you want, go off, Jackie. I thought you liked me. I do. Just get out of here. I now I feel I kind of bad for him. I do. I feel kind of bad for him. Right? Oh, gone wrong, Mr. Kennedy, ever since you turned up. Yep. Absolutely. We used to come here every week. Play music. Have, have fun. Laugh. Fun. What happened to fun? No wonder they stopped coming. Stop coming, my ass. Turned Stop up. coming. Hold on. Hold on. For you, Ursula. You're coming with me. We got a real leader Ursula, now. You and me. Together. I've been a male. <laughs> Way to take charge. <laughs> Man, it's gonna freaking eat you. Oh, well, I left my phone. Oh, well, good, good. We can, we can see the massacre that just took place. Where's Mr. Skill? Show yourself. He's gone to the toilet. I mean, he will after you shit him out of your stomach. What? Oh my God, that's never good. the worst thing I've ever seen. What does it look like? This is the worst thing. Good man. No. No, no. I'd honestly chop her arm off. I'd sacrifice her arm to, to save her. I wonder where she's gonna appear. Could have been a worse spot. I'm begging you. Let's get You can't reason with this green bastard. I feel sick. I'm like, I feel I just can throw up. My throw up would look like him. I think we, we have to live. we have to listen to that. It's definitely the worst looking creature in Doctor Who. Being the way it runs, the way it talks, the way it looks, the way it makes me feel. Oh, it's hurting. Oh. Where I go? It's anywhere but here. Here we go. The man we want to see. The noise we want to hear. It's over. I missed him. I missed him so much this episode. There's the queen. You upset my mom. No one upsets my mom. The last, the greatest beast of all. What's the twin planet, Rags of Clock, Clomp. 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 Yes, and I'll return there victorious once I possess your traveling machine. You won't let an innocent man die, and I'll absorb him unless you give yourself to me. What do you want? He's like, wait a minute. Like, I don't like this at all. Mind you, the others might have something to say. It Words can't describe how much I hate this. The absorber is being absorbed by what? By the earth. Bye -bye. It's kind of a depressing ending. She, she's always here with you, really, since she was absorbed by the, the Earth. And that's it. He explained. Okay. That night, all those years ago, there was a shadow in your house. I stopped her, but I wasn't trying to save her. I'm sorry. Not his fault. Not his fault at all. That's what happens if you touch the doctor. 
even for a second thinking of Rose and Jackie and how much longer before they pay the price. Yeah. Because the doctor said he could do one last thing. So all that, the doctor saved me one last time. Is she is? I'm sorry, I couldn't could do it. Worse. I'm sorry. At least I'll never age. And it really is quite peaceful. I'm sorry, I couldn't do it. We've even got a bit of a love life. Oh, let's not go into that. And I don't care what anyone thinks. I love her. What? I just don't want to think about that love life. I... It's in my head. Is. It's in my head. I... You know, when you're a kid, they tell you it's all grow up, get a job. But the truth is, the world is so much stranger than that. So much darker. And so much madder. And so much better. <laughs> Creepy as hell as he said that, but uh, there we have it, guys. Season two, episode ten of Doctor Who. Uh, first complaint with this episode was not enough Doctor and Rose. Second complaint, what the fuck was that creature? Third complaint is why the hell would you keep your girl, your love? I don't know. I, I couldn't do it. It's too weird. Uh, I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't, <laughs> I don't know, man, uh, that's crazy, uh, it's, this, this was an episode, this was a wild episode, it was probably, I wouldn't even say probably, this was definitely the most disappointing episode of Doctor Who yet, the worst one, but even, even through some of the nonsense we saw here, there was some good things, uh, the Doctor doing that for him, I mean, at the end, with, with his, his girlfriend, I would say. Um, and I did like the moments with, with Jackie in this episode, even though it was kind of heartbreaking. She was disappointed. I love that Rose came up and was yelling at him instead of the monsters. Like, no one disappoints my mom. But uh, that was another thing I liked. I liked the, the small group of friends that came out of this. Uh, I, I enjoyed the, the friendship there. They were kind of adorable. When they were playing music, the music was bad, I will say, but uh, I did like that group until the freaking creature came in and started absorbing absorbing them and eating them and all that nonsense, but uh, yeah, wow, not what I expected, not at all. Um, I don't know what to say, I, like, I kind of enjoyed the, the main guy, all this you know crap happened to him and we learned that. Um, the reason he wanted answers on the doctor and wanted to meet him was because the, the day he saw the doctor as a kid was the day his mom died, so he really you know, didn't know and needed answers or answers from that, questions and all, all kind of stuff like that. But I don't even know where my mind's going. Like I'm, I'm stumbling on words. I, I don't know what I'm thinking right now. This episode did a number on me. Uh, <laughs> How many episodes do we have left? We have three episodes left in this season. This season has been amazing for the most part. We're going to kind of uh, ignore this episode when I think back to season two. But uh, it did have some good moments, I won't lie. It just was definitely the, the weakest episode of Doctor Who for me. And the weakest monster demon they've dealt with. And just the lack of the Doctor and Rose kind of, you know, was heartbreaking never good we, we always want to see the doctor and rose but yeah that, that's that's episode 10 i hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this one thank you all for watching i'm out